one-fifteenth of students rely on school-funded food during the academic year. Almost one of four public school students in the United States came from an immigrant household in 2015. In 2015, nearly 10% of all students in the U.S. were classified as English language learners. face discrimination and racism in the form of segregation and hostile attitudes at their schools. To help, simply help new immigrant students feel welcome not only in the class, but also in extracurricular activities and in the community that would help support immigrant families as well as the school community. How many immigrants do you think you've worked with around the high school age? High school age, I would say maybe around 60, 65. Uh, most of the kids that I'm working with are middle school age that are going into high school the following year. So most of, most of the group that I'm working with right now uh, are going to be in high school next year. Uh, but over the last two years, probably at 60, 65. Do you notice um, if newer immigrants struggle like into our culture, um, like being accepted into society over here, making friends, etc.? I I do see that um, that the struggle between their own culture and, and trying to fit in, they they start to dress a little bit more like uh, people they see around uh, this Rexner, Connor Rexner. Um, or they either don't 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 want to dress at all like them, and uh, they only hang out with their friends, uh, their own um, uh, culture or uh, uh, group of people. Um, do you see new immigrants merge with other locals with different backgrounds, or do you mostly see them stay within their ethnic backgrounds? So. When I first started here, you would only see uh, the group I mainly work with is Karen. Um, I would only see the Karen uh, youth with uh, among each other. But now, as time's gone on, you, you see them more, more and more integrated with other uh, cultures uh, and racial backgrounds. So it's getting more diverse. Uh, yeah. um. On average, uh, how many new immigrants do you think, um, from what you've seen, fall into drugs, alcohol, etc., and could possibly be dropped out of high school? You can just give me a percentage. Uh, to be honest, I don't. With the group I'm working with, I don't see it a lot. I, I can only. From my experience, I've only seen one, one of my one of my youth out of the sixty-five uh, high school age that I've I've seen that had a, a problem with, uh, with drugs or any substance. Uh, but most of them are pretty pretty good about uh, either staying, trying to do sports, or doing uh, well in school. Uh, I know that. Uh, Maybe they're not the ones using it, but their parents are. Uh, from experience talking with uh, a lot of the Karen, their fathers or some family member either drinks a lot or does uh, drugs. But they, from from speaking with them, they tell me I want to try and stay as far away from that because I know what it does to my family. You know? so, That's good. Yeah. Um. As a percentage, how many do you think rely on school meals for food? I think all of them. 
uh, they they come here to Conway to get meals as well. Uh, every we we offer seven day uh, seven days a week. We do free meal, hot uh, or cold, um, and even when uh, they're not here for soccer, they either come here walking from uh, from their home and to get meals here. So I'm, I'm assuming a lot of them get meals from 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 uh, schools. I would say about 95 percent of them will will need school lunches too. Okay. Um, and, what do you think people can do to help? their transition from them coming from their old home to their new home? Can you, can you ask a question again? Like, uh, how do you think people can help them in the transition, transition. from like, yeah, leaving their family or whatever, their home, and what they know there, and like building a new home here? That's a good question. Uh, I think, first of all, building community. Uh, and that's something that we do here at Conroe Rexon where we first, first of all, we don't try and push them, say, hey, you need to mix with other groups. First, we need to feel comfortable within, within the, the, new, uh, the new society you, then you arrive in. And then after that, as they become more comfortable, uh, you can, they can expand out uh, and with a little bit of guidance from People out there are supporting them. They can venture out and do their own their own things. Um, but I, I would say first, make them feel uh, that they have a community behind them uh, that they can fall back in. Um, that being said, do you, uh, do you know of or can you think of like counseling options for them when they come here? I don't really know many counseling options that uh, that I would refer them to. Um, apart from, uh, we have a youth center right across from from Conor Rec Center, um, but I, I haven't had a chance to de uh, dive into finding more resources for them apart from what we offer.